Okay, so I've been asked a few times to do a tour on the new plot across the lane from our house. We live up there. There's the main plot right right there is the garden that we've toured before several times. This across the lane, we just bought this property probably a month and a half ago, actually. So all I think we, we did here was we bought it, fenced around it, got a sod cutter, cut the sod, put the sod back along that back edge. We just rolled it up and throwed it down there. Um, then I uh, rolled out ground cover, landscape fabric, burnt holes in it, put in some compost, and planted stuff. And that was it. We'd never tilled it, never sprayed it, never, never forked it. And it's doing okay. Um, the tomato plants look really good. We put them in, they were just starts. We started them from seed. Just four down here. I actually planted 219 of them, I think, at the time of starting them. And we lost a couple. Right there's one, there's one, there, there's two, there's one. But all in all, they look really good. They're, they're starting to flower. They're probably a foot and a half tall. I'm not planning to ever trim them or whatever. Just come up, come down here and grab the tomatoes off of them. If I can walk through when they start growing. I've never even watered down here. I watered when I planted by hand with a can and that was the only water they got other than the rain. So how they'll do, I really don't know. They're doing pretty good now though. They look good and healthy. And I have six rows of tomatoes 70 foot long two foot centers all directions two foot centers then i have a row of just one row of peppers and they're two foot two foot centers 70 foot long row and they look great we actually harvested a bunch of sweet peppers off of them earlier today off of these off of these, there's still some on, but they're a little, but, but there's a lot still on them. They're nice looking plants. Peppers are torn a little. We got a bunch for the farmer's market tomorrow. And this right here's either butternut. Half, half of it's butternut and half of it's spaghetti squash. Weed a lot. And it sells pretty good at the market as well. So we'll do, take that to the market. Most of them, we'll, we'll eat a lot of them. And we'll keep a lot of the butternuts for winter. They keep for a long time. Um, there's three rows of pumpkins. But they didn't germinate real good, but when I put it in, I, they were late. They were late and they not have came. We still may not get some we still may not get any pumpkins off of them, but they look good. The ones that stuck coming up, this bottom row is gourds. Just for Halloween decorations, they're doing good, but we planted those in seedling trees a month or so before we planted them down here just because we knew we were going to get them. This here, we, we should have did them that way too, but we didn't. So. Yeah, that's all right though. If we get them, we get them. If we don't, we don't. I don't know if we've got any germination or if we've got any fruit before it freezes, anyways. But the gourd's actually doing pretty good. They're, they're growing real well. They're starting to, starting to get flowers. Pop pumpkins are doing the best. And jack o' lanterns. I think we've got, we've got two jack o' lanterns. And some bush, a couple bush pumpkins. But the pies are by far the best. That's that's them, them bigger ones right there. And 
but there's a couple more down through there. And then the gourd stopped there. You go that way, they're good. There's three of those died, but whatever, we didn't water them, so it's expected. And then they're on this black landscape fabric. And then those five, six plants there actually are banana squash. We got we got a couple of squashes from the farmer's market last year and we kept some seed because we liked the flavor of them. But the squashes they produce are huge. I hope we get some off of them. They're really good and really big. And then down here where the landscape fabric stops, I spread a little bit of compost, but I didn't have a whole lot. But that's a lot of weeds down here, but that's okay. I don't really care a whole lot. That's beets. Five rows, they're going pretty good. And there's a pretty nice size walkway. And there's a couple rows of spinach. Spinach look, looks good, it's a lot of weeds in it, but they're going all right. They're growing, you can see it fairly well in the camera. And here we got some watermelon. They're climbing a small fence. They're looking good. Couple cantaloupes. Then this here's the ground cherry. It's doing pretty good. When they're ready to eat, they just fall off the like that one there, they just fall off the lawn, then they're good to eat. And this patch down here, I um we had a I don't know. A lot of seeds that was no good or well i can't say they're good they were they were good but they were old and i didn't want to use them in the garden for anything so we just mixed them together and i threw them out like grass seeds so we got who knows what all in this and i didn't label anything i just threw it out we got some squashes of some sort looks like we got some carrots coming up um some uh Something in the mustard. I'm gonna assume that's a mustard family that bugs eat up. And those, I would guess, are ground cherries. And who knows how many bunch of weeds, squash of some sort, more mustard, radish. I know it's a radish because it's actually starting to form a radish. Carrot. No, I say none of this stuff is watered, so whatever we get out of it, we get out of it. What we don't, we don't, but either way, it is what it is. But all in all, it looks good. I'm I'm happy with it. I really am. So, I think it's going to be all for now. So, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please like, share, subscribe. Take care.